Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ and YouTube family. I'm back to do part two of the um, email that I got this morning. And I've already shared with you part of it. And uh, this, this half starts with July the 25th from, um, let me go way back up here again. The name is given to Eric D. Hale, Visions and Dreams from God the Father. All right, and we started at August 1st, or at least that's maybe when it was posted. And they, he gave that one first, and then August the 4th. And he just put them out of order, because this one goes to 726, 719, and then the next one we're doing is 725. Okay, here we go. Judges 18... Well, it's Judges. Oh, I see. The book, Judges 18, Running Race. That's what I think he, he means. Removing stumbling blocks while picking flowers along the way. The race of faith is actually a race. Yeah, that's what Paul called it. Running the race. 1 Corinthians 924. Do you, I just thought of this. Do you not know that those who run in a race all run, but one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may obtain it. I used to, I remember when I was a baby Christian and I read that, and I was like, you know, the way it was, I was reading it, it was like only one gets it. And I'm like, Father, surely more than one person wins the race, right? <laughs> to win the prize? And I thought, oh, surely. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, I don't know if y'all, if some of you were baby Christians or you remember when you were, <laughs> some of the questions that would come into your mind when you read the Bible. <laughs> well, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> you, we're supposed to run the race as if there is only one, I guess, and to obtain it. I'll move on. Don't let anyone or anything deter you the momentum that is being set. For your seat at the great supper, wedding feast of the Lord Jesus Christ, the party in the sky is coming. Hallelujah. You are invited. Isaiah 55 Invitation to Abundant Life. We don't have much time left, as you can see. God is doing the impossible and things we can't see behind the scenes. Many are being lured in by God's glorious power of His beautiful Spirit. Hosea 2 verse 14. Bring her into the wilderness with comfort. God is speaking to the church of Jesus Christ. It's starting to get way mo supercharged. Way mo supercharged. <laughs> okay? And supernatural on live streams and videos that is that it is becoming evident through the spiritual evidence being seen that God is with us in the subduction zone. God is with us. Is that a period? No, they didn't put one there. It's evident. Evidence being seen. That's a comma. That God is with us. In the subduction zone, Breaks that shall happen and occur any day. I'm going to pause a second. I know I didn't do a video on this, but did you? Were you all aware of the huge earthquake that was up off Alaska? I believe it was. Oh man, I watched a video about it. The 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 seismograph. They they said it was only a. 8.7, but it was at least a 9.5, I'm wanting to say. 
but the seismograph was like, like think of your screen being all blacked in with very a little thin white line here and there. Crazy, crazy stuff. But it was so deep. It was 11 miles deep. This was just Monday, maybe? Not very long ago. Anyway, just wanted to throw that out there. And the guy, um, Emergency Management Agency. That's the name of his channel. Emer I'm pretty sure EMA. Emergency Management Agency. He, he described how the, the plates were supposed to be like this and they shifted and when the water only because it was so deep did the a tsunami not occur because all the tsunami buoys they show them lighting up in yellow he showed the the map that they watch and there were buoys lighting up all around like it could have gone to uh, Russia even down to Japan but, but mostly around Alaska and down, what's the state, Washington, around that area. Okay, so upper northwest of, in the United States. All right, moving on. Um, and it shall happen and occur any day. Yes, yeah, so we may see uh, some earthquakes in that before we are out of here. Or we go at the same time, I don't know. I, I am not sure. Haggai 2 verse 6. I will shake heaven and earth, the sea and dry land. Verse 7. I will shake all nations. It's okay though. Do you belong to God? You have nothing to fear. May you have the peace that passes all understanding to uphold in the increased historic global drought of famine normally historically these types of conditions of an atmosphere of war nation against nation kingdom against kingdom what does Jesus say Matthew 28 verse 20 I am with you always even to the end of the age. Okay, that's light years of love filled with eternity. <laughs> I like the way you put that. Light years of love filled with eternity. Heaven's windows are open. Avoid the abyss. Then he put, okay, the next one says 729-21. So July 29th. Hosea 10 verse 12. I guess it's titled, quote, time is up. Expiration date, comma, the awaited destiny of mankind is upon the nations. It's either going to be heaven or hell. There's no in-between. There's no other choice. It's heaven or hell. I'll continue. God is king. The devil is a liar. Whether depth or height. Psalm 82 verse 5. All the foundations of the unstable. Okay, hold on now. I got to decipher what this is. 7S, 8S, S is S in Sam, and 9S, 7S, 8S, and 9S. Size, maybe does that mean seismo, seismography, the size of it? Magnitude, earthquakes, are starting to hit. I'm just not familiar with seeing it as a 7S. Like, I usually see it 
7.4 and 8.1, you know what I mean. So 7s, 8s, and 9s are going to, are starting to hit, where was I? The 7.3 and the 8.2 in Alaska, now remember this is back on July 29th, right? Is that what I said? Yeah, so we're not talking about the one I told you about a minute ago. This is a different one, different ones. The 7.3 and the 8.2 in Alaska was two warnings to the church. Repent the judgment that it's time for God is here in Jesus' name. Nobody ain't going to listen until the islands come up missing. Hmm. I seen the armies gathering together, assembling for urban combat in the streets. Luke 21 verse 9, wars and commotions, storms, famine, pause. Last night on Grafted in Team Jesus, or might have been the night before, they showed us a picture that someone sent them of a huge military jet parked like in a cornfield. <laughs> well, it looked like it had, there. they were, I think it was yesterday. Might have been, what is today? I usually say that. Today is Friday, August 6th. Okay, I believe it was Wednesday. But either day, they were having military drills. They told people they would be landing these big jets on their local highways. And they did. And they had this one backed into this, probably had a little parking lot or it's big enough to hold it. And then all behind it looked like farmland to me. I mean, as well as I could tell. But it was green, greenery. It was. They're hiding them. This is what they do for urban warfare. They don't want them coming over here and dropping bombs on our military bases and knocking out all the planes and equipment so they start hiding it. Yeah, and it's all, if I might say so myself, this is in my honest opinion, kind of like the presidential elections, a circus show. All the king's leaders are friends. All the kings, all of the country's leaders are friends behind closed doors. China no more hates us than we hate them because we buy all their goods and sell it to our people who's willing to pay $25.99 for a pair of jeans that they made for a dollar or two. You get it? They own so much of America. Why would they want to destroy it? This country is full of China, Chinese, Russians. Russians are all over the southeast. You go down to Panama City, go into any souvenir shop. My daughter said, this, this has been like 10 years ago now. They were, every souvenir shop they went in being run by Russians. They're already here. It's not to scare you. It's to let you know you can't trust your government. You cannot trust what they have to offer. You get it? Trust only, only, only in God Almighty and His Son, Jesus Christ, and His Holy Spirit. You've got to have the Holy Spirit to give you wisdom and discernment. An understanding of the Bible. All right, let me get back to this message. Okay, so I seen the armies gathering together, assembling for urban combat in the streets. Now, urban, I guess, would be more like downtown. Yeah, rural is country, but they hide them out in the country. Anyway, moving on. Luke 21, verse 9. Wars and com commotions, oh, storms and famine... Hosea 13, verse 5, the great 
drought in the land. The Messiah is about to appear. We need to be more ready than ever. Forever has sprung up on us suddenly. Psalm 139 verse 6. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. I am is a just God and shows me and allows me to love and warn his people that the continental shelves themselves are broken. I am seeing huge tsunamis of unprecedented levels of destruction. The waters will come into the lands, the cities along the coast. The punishment of Japan will be a very terrifying event for that island. We got to stay in a state of repentance. Time is gone. Amos 5 verse 18 For what good is the day of the Lord to you? It comes. That's the end of it. So, the team felt like this was anointed. I, I get no red flags because, my goodness, Pastor Wilkerson, uh, David, from the 73 till, let's see, 73 is when I got saved at one of his, con one of his first, if not the first, youth conference in Akron, Ohio. And he was seeing visions and prophecies like this. So was Dietrich Dudeman. And there was, I mean, men that aren't even alive today have seen these, these things. You can't just say, oh, that isn't going to happen. It's never going to happen. They've been saying it for years. That's because God is merciful. And he's been giving people time to repent and us time to get it out. And I know back in the beginning, I did a video when I was having to do the slideshow thing. I remember picking out a picture of a tsunami in one of the messages I got. And that was back in, let's see, when I started in 2013, probably. Something like that. And my computer, they crashed my original computer. And my daughter gave me her old one. And it was, they poured something on it on accident. It got something spilled on it. So some of the letters were sticky, but the camera didn't work. So all I could do is run sideshows for a while until I got, anyway, got another computer. Moving on. It's neither here nor there. I'm just saying, I remember picking out a picture of a tsunami going over New York. So people have been seeing these in dreams and visions, hearing words about them. The Lord has been warning and warning and warning and warning. The question is, will you listen? Will you finally listen now? Stay in a state of repentance and prayer and in the out of the world. Get out of the world and worldly things, and get your heart right with the Lord. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. If you don't know the Lord, go check out my first, the first of these two. In the description box is my video on how to get saved and what to do from there. If you aren't already born again, uh, how to give your heart to the Lord. People, a lot of people will say, give your heart to the Lord. Uh, Sister Barbara likes to say, and be baptized, and you'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Well, that is Acts 2.38. But there's more to it than that. So if you don't already have Jesus really close to your heart, please go check out my videos. Only six minutes in a matter, I don't know, it's barely over six minutes. You'll be glad you did. A lifetime, what did he say? A, a, an eternity's were I don't remember how he worded it. 
but eternity with people that love God all the same and love each other in a beautiful, like you're, you're on, it's your permanent vacation destination. I think that's what the Lord told me in a message. This is your permanent vacation destination. And you won't be able to go anywhere on this earth better. And it's for eternity. Do you want that? Or would you rather go into the lake of fire? How can there be a choice? How can you even fathom? But it takes genuine, genuinely believing that Jesus died for you, rose from the dead, that he did it because he loves you. That Father sent him to do that because he loves you that much. And then you have to turn from your wicked ways. Get out of the world. Get into the Bible. And learning how to love him and live for him. That's it in a nutshell. Alright, I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of us. Our devices and our internet connections. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.